if you've repeatedly failed a bar exam, you're probably thinking about quitting. Don't do that. And even if you've only taken the bar exam once and failed it, you're probably pondering how you can make sure you do everything right so that you are done with it, at least on your second try. I've got you. In today's video, I'm going to show you exactly how to think about bar prep and the bar exam so that you can find your weak points, strengthen them, and pass the bar. I'm Jennifer Duclair, bar exam mindset mentor, helping you get past your mindset blocks so that you can beat the bar. If you've repeatedly taken the bar, my first tip to you is to put yourself in the mind frame of an objective observer. When you're in the situation, you will see it one way, but when you're outside, you'll see it differently. Take a moment to suspend judgment, release the emotions, and move outside of the situation. Pretend that you are your favorite law professor or your favorite tutor. Pretend and look at the situation from that angle. Then comb through your experience, your personal experience, how your scheduling went, how your emotions were going, your strategy. Look at how you approached bar prep, what you did, what you didn't do. And then look at the testing experience itself. Were you fully prepared? Did you run late on your way to the testing site? Were you calm? Or did you run out of time? Examine all of these areas through an objective observer standpoint. Now, if you want to go deeper into the different ways to look at your bar exam experience so that you can improve and pass it on your retake, look below for a free guide that I'm giving you that runs you through how I help people assess their past journey with the bar exam. Now, if you took it one time and you want to make sure that you do not mess up again going forward, the paramount thing that you need to do is process the emotions from this past bar exam experience. You want to release the baggage because the one thing that I see that puts second timers behind the curve is that they didn't release the fear of failure or rather they didn't release the feelings of rejection. And those feelings of rejection matured into a fear of failure. They interpreted things about the fail to mean something about them as a person and ended up changing their identity to match that of someone who doesn't pass the bar. And once you've changed your mindset to the point of the identity level, you end up with a lot of work to do to change that mindset back. So if this is the first time you've taken it and not passed, I highly urge you to take the tips in this video to the depth that you can and really take them seriously and work through the emotions. Because after years of doing this, that is the one determining factor I've seen carrying over from taking it one time to repeatedly failing multiple times after that, not working through releasing the emotions, cutting away any lies that failing the bar is telling you about yourself, not going through that process changes the identity and self-concept of the bar taker. And that's what creates these multiple retakes thereafter. Whether you've taken it multiple times or you're just about to do your first retake and hopefully your last retake, definitely look at dispelling and removing the baggage and the lies that came from past bar exam missed attempts. I have a program below. It's a workshop. You'll get through it in one hour, but you will be changed and you can use it to cut the baggage and soar through your next bar taking experience. Look below for the link and I'll see you in the next video.